Let's talk about the tropics. And so talking about Hurricane Oscar, Category 1 hurricane with sustained winds at 80 miles per hour. And this system, let me tell you, around this time yesterday, it only had a 20% chance of trough development. And then pretty much in six hour span, it became a hurricane. And speaking of this hurricane, it, the hurricane force winds of 80 miles per hour is only about five miles wide in a radius. So it was a very tiny hurricane as it's just north into Cuba moving west at 12 miles per hour. Now this system will continue to track west, but once it makes a second landfall just north of Cuba, it makes a sharp right turn uh, back into the Atlantic and weakening into a tropical storm as we head into tomorrow. We are not going to see any impacts from Oscar at all here across the United States. We may see some dangerous rip currents along the coastlines later on this week, but for now, no immediate impacts whatsoever from Oscar. Then we have Nadine. That became a tropical storm yesterday morning at 2 a.m. That system continues to weaken. It's moving across Mexico, and the latest hurricane track on that system is pretty much just dissipating uh, by later this morning or er early afternoon. So no impacts at all with tropical storm Nadine. And speaking of the tropics, it's been 23 days since we've seen measurable rain. I know we've seen a couple sprinkles on Wednesday, but measurable rain, we have not seen that since September 27th which was from Helene. And so we look at our long range precipitation outlook. It's likely going to continue to see this dry streak for the rest of the month of October. So we are giving you the first alert to a rain free forecast for the work week and spoiler alert, likely going to continue as we head into next week. And so we talk about the rainfall totals for the month of October. Big old goose egg across Lumberton, Florence and Myrtle Beach were typically this time of year. We see rainfall totals between two to four inches of rain. And with this dry spell, drought monitor shows abnormally dry conditions creeping back into our area. And so far, it's been the driest month of October on record. Now, if we continue to see this drier weather, likely going to see this abnormally dry conditions continue to increase across the Grand Strand and the PDs. So basically, right now, besides the dry weather, uh, Nice fall crisp morning as temperatures are in the 40s and 50s, mostly sunny skies. For a 12 hour plan area, if you want to do fall activities, whether well, take the kids to the park, do a little bit of pumpkin picking, we expect those temperatures to rise into the mid 70s. Plenty of sunshine. We'll start to see a gradual warm up as we're expecting highs being the upper 70s, low 80s. But as we look at our seven day to even 10 day <coughs> forecast, no rain is expected for the next.